Welcome to our part one guide to getting gravity working in our ALS V4 project. In this part, we are going to cover setting up the plugin with our ALS project. Start with a fresh ALS V4 project. We are working in version 4.24.2. Then we're going to install the directional and planet gravity plugin from the Unreal Engine marketplace. You can see the specific plugin that we're going to install to our 4.24 project on our screen. After it is installed, the first thing you're going to do is go to your engine location. By default, it is at the location C Program Files Epic Games. Go into the UE 4.24 folder, then Engine, next Plugins, then Marketplace. That folder is where the Gravity plugin will be located that we just installed. Move that folder into the new project that we've just created. Make a folder called Plugins, and that's where you'll place the gravity plug folder. We do this because we like to modify anything that we bring into our project. If we leave it in the engine, then if we modify it, it will keep those modifications for every project. Moving the folder to this specific project will localize those changes we make, and it will only affect this project. Next, you're going to restart the project. Choose Manage Plugin and make sure it is enabled. With the pop-up, make sure you update the project file. Now we convert this into a C++ project. Go to File, then New C++ Class. It doesn't matter what it is or what you name it from the choices. This just changes it from a Blueprint-only file to a C++ project. Hit Next. Choose your name, then hit Create Class. This might take a minute for it all to load up, so just be patient. When that completes, Visual Studio should open. Close our ALS project again, and then we'll go into Visual Studio. Go to Plugins on the sidebar, then DIR Gravity, then Source, another DIR Gravity, and then here is where all of the code for the plugin is. It's divided by headers, and we're going to go into the gravity movement component. Now here is Notepad++ where we're comparing what was done before and using it to compare the plugin. In our header file, we just need these two overrides here. We'll zoom in. Add those into the code here at the overrides. This allows us to override the default movements for the crouch and uncrouch functions. Now into the C++ part. That is the gravity movement component, C++. Here we have to change a few things. The first thing you might notice when converting from ALS to gravity is you might find yourself snapping around the world, and that's because of this if statement here. We're not really sure why it causes the problem, but it snaps for some degree amount. If the world is large, this is very noticeable. To change things to be more smooth in their transition, you can comment out the entire scope at 2611. If you're installing this plugin more recently, it can actually be found at line 2606. So let's go ahead and comment that out. Next is for our updated rotation, which will be a couple of different lines. This line should be at 39. In the constructor, we'll set this to identity. The next place we'll need to do this is at 370. We're adding in another line of code updated for identity. And next is 956, so find that and add it in again. This is the last line we have to do for rotation. However, we do need to do the overrides for crouch and uncrouch. This last one is actually a lot of code and we'll upload it so you can copy and paste the information and it will go at the end. That's everything we need for those two files, so let's go ahead and build again. And now let's open our project. We are going to add a content browser so we can see the code with everything else, right down here in the bottom right corner. Our character right now in ALS is a child from the ALS base class, and it will need to change. We're going to change that inherent for character into BP gravity character, gravity plugin. To do that, we can go to base character, go to class settings, and change it to a BP gravity character, and that should do the trick. 
If we go back to the gravity character, we can disconnect this new gravity direction and let's have it at the default gravity, which is negative Z. If you put a negative one in there, it will always be downward direction and that is the default engine gravity. So everything should behave as it normally does in ALS. And it looks like it does. Now connect the return value back to the new gravity direction. Now let's make a new map with the default. We're not going to save our demo in the default world. Uh, delete the platform and go to geometry and put a sphere into this world. We'll set the location to 000. zero, zero. Obviously that's not very spherical, so we'll go to tessellation and bump that all the way up. Now this will be our planet. Now find our ALS character, drop them in just above the surface, and make sure we can possess it through auto possess player zero and possess it. It works, uh, but not exactly. So we'll go into game mode, settings, world settings, and put it in single player game mode for ALS. And here we go. And of course, we're still falling off the planet. So make sure the vector directions are set to zero. Okay, here's what we were doing wrong. I forgot to remove this if statement, or if you want, you can set it to true, but we're always going to want gravity on, so let's just remove this if statement and connect prevent tick. This is in the gravity character, straight in the set gravity direction, and this will take our new gravity direction at every frame. So what it's doing is this center location, or zero, 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 this is the center point of our gravity, or planet, or whatever. And then from our actor to that distance, then it is setting a vector from that, and it is the direction of our gravity. So as we're moving around the planet, we're constantly reaching our value. Let's try this again. There we go. It's not great, but the gravity is definitely updating on the character, and this is progress in the direction we need to move. Just maybe not into orbit. That is the basic setup for getting the directional plugin into ALS. The next guide will cover how to convert between local space and world space, cover the helper functions we created, and a few other related things. See you next guide!